All right, hello everyone, here we are. Hole number eight. Probably gonna go navigator, sniper. That's what I'm probably thinking. Right now I'm qualifying, I don't know if it probably won't hold up. So I'm kind of rocketing through this round. But just wanna make sure that I get well outside the range here today. Just trying to do this uh, one and done for you guys. I'm not going to play pro. I'm just putting together a guide for you guys so you have it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to short hop this fairway a little bit. I'm thinking maybe just, just a touch top spin to make sure that it gets to the hole. I'll offset my guide a little bit. And other than that, um, I'm thinking about playing max ring so you can see with the offset it's about maybe two or three cups or so and I'm just gonna play 5.6 see what it looks like <clears throat> mmm so a little bit off, but not bad overall. You can see that it ran up there, had a very good chance. As you can see, it probably is going to need a little bit of that top spin. So the fact that I used it there is probably beneficial. And let's take a look at what my opponent does here. Keep in mind, if you don't have a sniper, that's okay. Um, however, if you do, you know, even a sniper four, what, what, you would only need half a bar of topspin and just copy my land zone. So, you know, you don't have to have the best clubs. Uh, similarly, if you wanted to use a guardian, you would just copy my spin. You would do the exact same thing. Just because you don't have the ball guide doesn't mean the shot changes. It's still going to be the same shot. So regardless if it's Viper, QB, the, I, I'm basically, you know, using the sniper just to show you that guide so you can actually see it run out. And then, you know, you can do your Viper or whatever. You can just copy the exact same spin and land zone. So good luck there, and I'll catch you guys for a whole nine to complete this thing. <laughs> 